you got to create a product or a service, whatever you are offering to the customers, you got to create a product or a service. So therefore, the first C is all about creating or creation. Okay. What can the second C now stand for? Content. Okay. Uh, uh, get the guesses going. Any other thing? Circulate. Okay. Okay. Still closer. Okay. Any other thing? Contribute. Okay. Think on those lines and give you a hint. First, you need to create the product or the service. And then probably you need to go out to your consumers. So therefore, what do you need to do then post-creation? Huh? Connection, any other C, any other C, let me see. Perfect. Perfect. So the second C is all about your communication. You have created a wonderful product. Okay? But if the world does not come to know about it, Will you be able to succeed? Never. So the second C is all about your communication. Usually in the business world, what we see is the first C is the responsibility of the product manager. There's someone called as a product manager who is responsible for the new product development in place. Yeah. So therefore, he's the one who creates it, but there has to be the brand team also who will communicate it to the consumers in place. Okay. So therefore, the second C is all about your communication. Now let's come to D and V now. What can this D stand for? Distribute, develop, okay, get it going. Deliver, perfect, absolutely right. You deliver what? That V, what is that V there for? Huh? Value, perfect. So any customer, why will he or she buy your product or service? Till he or she? Because it is valuable to him or her, and therefore, if you do not understand that D and V, you will not be able to do it. So, therefore, you deliver value, which is D and V taken together, and that's what this V is what your value proposition talks about. And I'll go in 